Nathan Zagura here with the game preview edition of the two minute drill brought to you by University Hospitals. It's a styles clash at First Energy Stadium this Sunday when the two and two LA Chargers come to town to take on our two and two Cleveland Browns. The Chargers are the best passing offense in the NFL. The Browns the best pure running offense in the NFL. The last time these two teams met, they scored 89 combined points. It was week five one year ago. The Chargers coming out on top 47 to 42. That was the most points scored in any game in the NFL last season. This time around, though, I think the Browns are going to lean on Nick Chubb, the second leading rusher in the NFL, and Kareem Hunt, and try to control this game, control the time of possession, much like they did a week ago. But obviously, this week, we are going to have to punch it into the end zone to get those touchdowns and score points against the Chargers. One good bit of news for the Browns is that on that Chargers defense, we know Joey Bosa's on IR, but they have struggled with outside runs. They give up eight yards per carry on runs outside the tackles most in the NFL, and that's where Nick Chubb does his damage. He's number one in the league in rushing yards outside the tackles. In fact, over 80% of his rushing yards this year and all of his touchdowns have come on those outside runs. So look for the Browns to be able to control the game that way. When the Chargers do have the ball, they have Justin Herbert, the number one passer in the NFL, the pro bowler. He so far this year, over 1,200 yards passing, nine touchdowns, two interceptions. Mike Williams, a big time vertical threat on the outside. And then out of the backfield, they have Austin Eckler, one of the true dual threat running backs in the NFL. He's actually third in the AFC in receptions. He leads their team in receptions and is coming off a game in which he had three total touchdowns against the Texans. So they can hit you down the field to Williams. They can hit you in the intermediate to their tight end, Gerald Everett, or their receiver, Josh Palmer. And then they can hit you near the line of scrimmage with either runs or what I call long handoffs to Austin Eckler. So this is a team that challenges your defense at every single level of the field. The good news is the Browns defense will be as healthy as it has been all season. Miles Garrett is back, and that's massive against the Chargers team starting a rookie at left tackle. Jadevian Clowney and Taven Bryant should also be back, giving the Browns a complete front four for the first time in a couple of weeks. And that'll be key because Justin Herbert, without pressure, he will eat you up. Quarterback rating of 124. But when under duress, he has not thrown a touchdown this year, and his quarterback rating drops to just 62. The formula is simple. You guys get there. Be loud this Sunday for the Browns and the Chargers. And for the Browns offensively, possess the ball. Take care of it. No turnovers. The Browns 11-2 with a clean sheet under Kevin Stefanski. And then on defense, you got to get after Justin Herbert and try to disrupt this excellent Chargers passing attack. We'll have full coverage for you starting this Sunday at 10.30 a.m. on News 5 with Browns Countdown. And on the Browns Radio Network, coverage starts at 9 a.m. So get ready for it. It's the Browns and the Chargers, a big one in Week 5. Keep it tuned, as always, for all the latest on your Browns to CleanBrowns.com and the Browns mobile app. This has been a game preview edition of the 2-Minute Drill brought to you by University Hospitals.